House to Naples. I'm Haley and today we have a beautiful F-type for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and make sure and click the bell to turn the notifications on. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our website, autohousenaples.com, for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful F-type. All right. So, like I said, F-Type, obviously. This is a 2014 Jaguar F-Type V8S. This is the um, first and only generation so far of the F-Type. It's the second year. They came out in 2013. Classic design. This one's in really great condition. This is finished in Italian racing red. It's a beautiful color. It's this metallic red. It's really beautiful. It's kind of like more, I don't want to say maroon, but like in the in the shade, it's kind of like darker, and then in the sun, it'll get a little bit more bright red. That's an upgraded color choice as well. You have this grill up front, very sporty. You've got your fierce growler up front. You've got your S badging. Really great shape. I like all the black finishes on the front with the Rome. It looks really nice. The, the F-Types have just such a fierce, sporty look. I like the headlights on here. They're very sleek. It's really great condition overall. This one is a one owner and it has only 42,000 miles on it. It's been really well maintained, always garage kept, stored correctly, everything like that. So we have these really nice wheels. These are 20 inch tornado silver aluminum wheels one thing i really like about them is you have these kind of like decorative bolts on here in groups of three but it kind of hides your tire air valve which is i i kind of like it so it's kind of hidden and it blends in with the decor of the wheel these ones are in really great shape no curb rash anything like that you've got michelin tires the fronts are going to be 255 35 zr20s really great condition got your red brake calipers as well and the red brake calipers are going to be part of the performance package which is about a three thousand dollar upgrade it's going to give you dynamic mode the performance seats the flat bottom steering wheel foot pedals metallic um, the sport floor mats active sport exhaust and some black trim inside so there you can kind of see those performance seats and this one's gonna have, it's a really nice interior. It's got this brown with the black. I kind of like the look. It's a really luxurious looking brown. It's not kind of like that. It's like a deep, dark brown, flat bottom steering wheel. The MSRP on this car when it was new, um, the base models are on 92,000, but with all the upgrades, this one was over $100,000 which I can see why it's such an amazing car and it still drives like it should be a hundred thousand dollar car but the back tires these ones are going to be a little different you're going to have 295 30 ZR20s again Michelin tires I love to the the pop out handles for the Jaguars and then they do go flush when you lock the car I guess I can lock it and then you can see them go flush and then the mirrors go in automatically and then unlock, everything opens back up. So that's really nice too. I love the handles on them, they're so neat. On the back, you're gonna have your four exhaust pipes. You've got a really sporty exterior on the rear. I love the tail lights as well. I think they're really neat. Kind of got the circle and it kind of extends back. Really neat. And then let's pop the trunk. Got that on our key fob. You got just a couple different things on the key fob. Very simple. Key fob's in great shape too. And then everyone always tries to lift it right here, but it's right there underneath. Not bad space. Could probably fit maybe one set of golf clubs if you're into that. But it does go back a little bit deeper. Not the biggest trunk in the world, but I don't think you're buying an F-type for trunk space, or at least I wouldn't be. Got little handles to pull down. Very simple. 
seats. Then it also has a couple other upgrades. You got the premium package that's going to give you heated seats, the garage door opener and valet mode. And then you also have the vision package, which is going to give you the front parking sensors, rear view camera, blind spot monitoring, and adaptive headlights. So let's check out the engine. My favorite, my favorite car. Wow, look at how clean that is for a 2014. This car is about eight years old and it looks absolutely immaculate under the hood. This engine is going to be a five liter supercharged V8. You're going to have aluminum block and heads, intercooled V8. It's going to give you a zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, which is so quick. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, 0 to 100 in 8.4 seconds, and I like how they have this tested, 0 to 150 in 20.3 seconds. Top speed on this one is 171. This is a Haley car. If I was ever going to get a sports car, this is the car I would get. I think everyone's smart when they buy F-types. Oh lord. I'm already causing problems. Alright, so before I hop in here, if you want to take a look at the seats, um, again you got this dark brown interior, but even like on the door panel you've got this really light contrast stitching, gives it an extra kind of luxurious feel, got all your seat adjustments, memory seats, got your Jag Jaguar door still, scuff plate, whatever you want to call it, but I really like the seats with those contrast stitching. I don't know, these seats look more luxurious than most of the F-types that, you know, we get in. Just the contrast stitching, the brown, instead of a lot of them will just have a black interior. I really like the look of this one. All right, let's start it up. sleek interior you're gonna have again that flat bottom steering wheel really great shape and of course it's a multi-function steering wheel so you've got all your different adjustments and buttons right there and you've got a very simple instrument cluster really everything you need and there's the miles so 42,226 miles you got your digital speedometer I like the gauges on the screen there too for your gas and your temperature. Very simple, you got your windshield wipers. We got paddle shifters in here as well. I won't personally be using those, but you do have that option. And then you've got a lot of different stuff on the screen. Again, we do have the valet mode. That was an upgrade, but you have just this nice little touch screen. I think it's got satellite radio too. Yep, it's got satellite radio, navigation. And then you've also got your buttons right here if you wanna not touch the screen. You've got your phone, all that good stuff. And then right here, you have all your temperature settings. You've got heated seats, not for us today, but maybe another day. Start, stop, you got your cigarette lighter, You've got your shift knob right here, your different mode selectors, your volume. Oh, I didn't even have the exhaust button on. <laughs> Gonna have fun with this one. You got your convertible top button. That's the other thing I really like about these F-types is the top goes down really fast. It's only about like four seconds for the top to go down, which is really fast, especially compared to other convertibles, Mercedes, Audis, BMWs. You got your cup holders right here. And then you've got your center console. Not the biggest center console, but enough for some space. You've got your USB plug-in, your aux cord. Looks like CD player too. Kind of an interesting spot, I like that. Never noticed that. And then you've got another little storage compartment right there. 
It's really nice. What you lack in the center console, you get a little extra space right there. And then of course we have our glove box. Good space in there. And again, both seats, you have all your power adjustments on the door panel over here. And then you have three memory settings for each person. I think that's really nice. You know, you can have all your lady friends can have, you can have three different lady friends with their own memory settings. Meridian sound system, more storage on the side. And then all the headliners in like this really nice leather too. And you've got your lights, should all be touched too. I really like the lights in here. They're kind of fun. And then I always think these are funny. So the sun visors are like so tiny. They're just these little thin sun visors, little tiny mirror. But that's all in really great shape. All the stickers are in great shape. You've got a little windscreen back here as well. Overall though, it's just in really great condition. Let's put the top up and then we'll go for our test drive. This one's in amazing shape. Make sure and check it out on our website, autohousenaples.com, and let us help you drive your dream.